Okay, in this video, what we're going to be talking about is how we can use named expressions to control which tabs show up based upon, in this case, we're doing it based upon the work set. So in this example, I have two workspaces that I'm going to work with, AAT7331 and Air Aircraft Services. Now, if I choose the first one, my work set, in this case, goes to Substation Design. If I was to choose the second one, Aircraft Services, it's going to give me the option for a work set called architectural. Now, depending upon which one of the two workspaces and work sets that I use, it's going to determine which tab that I see. So I'm going to use architectural first. So I'm going to open up the file in that work set. Now, when this opens up in the upper left hand corner, I have created a workflow called BPA workflow and I've got that selected here. And you'll see there's two tabs. There's BPA site tools. These are general tools. Everybody gets them regardless of their architectural or substation design. And then there's BPA architectural. Now, if I select this, only the architectural tools will show up. This is showing up because I had a work set set to architectural. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and close. I'm going to change my workspace. I'm going to go to AAT7331. Again, my work set changes the substation design. I'll open up a sample drawing here. And now you can see the architectural tab is gone and it's been replaced with substation design. I still have the BPA site tools. Again, that's for everybody. It's not one specific discipline. Now, how I was making this happen was in the DGN lib, I have created these tabs and I also created named expressions. Now to see those, I'm going to go ahead and again do a close. And I've been working from the no workspace work and no work set. And remembered, I have two files here. One is called BPA named expressions. I put the named expressions in that file. I could have put the named expressions and the ribbons in the same file but I just separated them out. So the first one I'm gonna look at here is the BPA ribbon demo. So I'm gonna open this up. Now you notice again, the BPA site tools are there because everybody gets those, but you don't see substation design or architectural tab because I did not have that set in the workspace. So that named expression was querying it. So what I'm gonna do is gonna open up my customized ribbon dialog Again, I'm in the DGN lib file, and there's the tab that I created, or workflow, I should say. And here's the tools. Now, the first one, BPA site tools, when I select that, down here, visibility says always. Doesn't, doesn't check. The second one, which is architectural, when I select that, you can see there's the named expression that I defined. I created this one for this example. It's called, I called it is work set name arch. So it's asking that question, is the work set architectural or is it substation design? Now the second one here, substation design, this is again a named expression I created called is work set named substation. Now how you define a named expression, there's a number of ways to get to it, but there's a little link right down here. If I click on this named expressions link, this will open up the named expressions dialog. You're going to see there's a whole bunch of already pre-created ones that MicroStation use. This is something that's been in MicroStation for over a decade. It, you've been using named expressions all along to basically display as an example. If you're in a 2D file, you only see 2D tools. If you're in a 3D file, you'll see 3D tools. What's determining those tools appearing is a named expression asking the question, is the file a 2D or is the file a 3D? And there's all kinds of queries that we can do about files. Is it a V8 file? Is it a DGN file? All kinds of things. In this case, I created the variable, so I'm going to scroll on down, and they're going to be near the bottom, and here they are. Now, these aren't in this file. They're actually in another DGN lib, so if I was in the other DGN lib where they reside, they would be solid bold, and I would be able to edit them, but we'll be able to see what I've done here. So the first one, which is is work set name arch, the internal name is in work is work set name arch. 
and the external name is as you can see and then I showed down below the symbol set in this case it was a configuration bar this is the expression down here config var dot get expanded config var and then I gave it the variable name and I asked the question does that variable name or the sorry the in case in this case work set name does it equal architectural now if I choose substation you can see it's essentially the same named expression except the variable is different it's looking for substation so now if I close this I close this I'm going to go ahead and open up that other DGN lib file the one that actually contains the named expression so we can look at them I'm going to go ahead again right click on the ribbon go to customize ribbon come down to named expressions scroll on down you can see now the two are bold because I'm in the file where they exist so if I select it here this is how you can go about defining it now there's some conditions here again I'm not a programmer but I've been able to put this together and usually what I do is I look at examples and how, where do I get these examples if I come up here to utilities and then I go down to report symbols this will open a web page basically internal web page and it's going to give you a list of these expression symbols that are available and you can just do a search so if I said config about I'll do config and not thug there we go and you can see it begins to find these so there's all kinds of options so down here it's the one I used uh, is config var defined what I love about this not all of these uh, symbols have an example but when they do it's so helpful you can just copy it straight from here and then paste it right back into microstation so I could be able to come back here and then right down here I could paste it in now what it didn't include was the equal and then the space and then in quotes architectural I had to add that part in so this is how you can define your own name expressions which can be used to control so many things inside of microstation go ahead and close these out well I hope this has been informative enjoy